In the name of Almighty One God, who is most merciful and beneficent. Dear friends, my name is Dr. Abu Abdullah. And I am a researcher from Islamic International University in Quran, Sunnah. I had started a series of lectures about books of Islamic civilization. Today, Muslims are in very crippled condition, except few Arab. So, why? Why they are crippled? In these series of lectures, I am trying to explain who were Muslims at that time, immediately after the Quran was relieved. What they did, what they gave systems to the universe and they were controlling and ruling the three-fourths of the world. But now, because they have left Quran and Sunnah and research, so they are in a very bad shape and become sheep in the hands of non-Muslim wolves. So this is next lecture in Islamic Civilization. The book of public finance, Kitabul Amwal, by Abu Ubaid al Arabi. The author Abu Ubaid al Qasim was born in Hera in 770 AD, where he completed his early education. He then studied in Kufa, Basra, and Baghdad who were the centers of high education at that time and Europe was in total dark. Where he completed his early education, he then studied in Kufa, Basra and Baghdad and excelled in Hadith, Fika, Arabic language, grammar and literature. Returning to home country, he was appointed Qazi of Tarsus in Cilicia. Kazi means justice, judge of a city in Cilicia, where he served for about 18 years. In 8 to 8 AD, he visited Egypt and after some time proceeded in Baghdad where scholars studied his books by him. In the later years of his life, he journeyed to Hijaz, Hijaz means Makkah, etc., Arabia, performed his Hajj, Hajj and died later at Makkah in 224 after Hijrah. Abu Ubaid was an eminent scholar of Hadith and Fika and also he was most accomplished in his study of Arabic language and its style and syntax. He wrote about 20 works on these subjects and dedicated many of them to Abdullah Tahir, the ruler of Khurasan, whose reign was from 828 to 845 AD. In, whom, in whose opinion Abu Ubaid was until then the fourth greatest scholar of Islam. Abu Ubaid's work on language elicited higher praise from such a distinguished literature as Jahez, as Jahez who observed that none ever wrote more accurate and more useful works than him. His voluminous al gharib al musanja Musannaf, al gharib al Musannaf was a pioneering work on quantification of the rare hadith of Prophet Among the early known works dealing with public finance, Abu Ubaid's book occupies chronologically the third position after Kitab al-Kharaj of Qazi Abu Yusuf and Kitab al-Kharaj of Yahya Adam. The first two 
deal mainly with the law rather constitutional law governing interstate relations abu ubaid's work is much more comprehensive in so far as the subject of public finance of an islamic state is concerned he begins by stressing the mutual rights and obligations of the imam imam means the ruling leader and the community and their responsibility under islamic polity he discusses the institution of public treasury and how the accumulated incomes herein are to be distributed abu abad refers to the main sources of finance of which baitul mal becomes the sole repository and administration of which both on income and the expenditure side is the responsibility of islamic state i repeat is very important abu bakr refers to the main sources of the finance of which baitul mal becomes the sole repository and administration of which both on income and expenditure side is the responsibility of islamic state of course in kitab al amwal or book of public finance he deals elaborately with war booty which is male ganima it's called in arabic the khumas which is one fifth of the booty a uh, year marked for the profit fe these are the arabic words the property that falls in the hands of muslims without battle jizya which is a tax released from the non muslim subjects and the kharaj an annual grant released from the defeated states he also explains which of the hands are which of the lands are subject to usher and which to kharaj and how to divide them among the muslims just imagine that how important this book is in islamic state but we don't know we don't have all these things with us all these legislations so i repeat these are the words which maybe you are not familiar most of most of them so number 1 ibn mal ghanimat these are the revenues of an islamic state which you can call tax what is ghanima war booty the all the belongings of defeated army in the war in the battlefield number 1 number 2 khumas year marked for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the ganima khumas number 3 fe fe means the property that falls in the hands of muslim without battle if the non muslim country or area they come under the government of islam islamic state then they have to pay fe that is fe fe is the property that falls in the hands of muslims without battle so next is jizya jizya is the amount money tax released from non muslim subjects to protect them and it, it is responsibility of the islamic state kharaj an annual grant released from the non muslims subjects the non muslim released from the defeated states kharaj is annual grant released from the defeated states i mean the states which are defeated in the war they have to pay annually a amount lump sum amount money to islamic state that is called kharaj so they have to pay that kharaj and he also explain then is the usher usher is on the lands which are cultivated it's 1/10th part usher means 1/10th part and which to kharaj and how to divide among the muslims in the later part of on the sadaqa and zakat 
you know every well about satkarnika the methods of collection and distribution thereof are discussed the final chapter on sadaka pertains to the property of orphans and other relevant details so my dear friends let's stop here